Okay, second parenting style. We're going to go over here to the lower left-hand corner. Go ahead and type or write in permissive parenting. Um, and this is undemanding parent, yet they are supportive. So the opposite of an authoritarian parent. So they are undemanding, yet supportive emotionally. All right, let's look at that one. Oh, by the way, remember demandingness refers to the extent that they control the children's behavior or demand a child be mature. And then responsiveness degrees uh, that they accept and are sensitive to their child's emotional and developmental needs. All right, so permissive parent, here we go. Um, uh, let's define it first from Baumrind. She defines it as an attempt to behave in a non-punitive, meaning no, no punishment, um, acceptant and affirmative matter toward the child's impulses, desires, and actions. So no matter what the child's impulses, desires, or actions, you there's going to be very little punishment. There's going to be a lot of acceptance. There's going to be a lot of affirmative, meaning yay, 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 even if the child's impulses, desires, and actions are, um, <clears throat> shall we say, very negative. All right, so that's a permissive parent. All right, so first off, what is the kind of you know, like what's the phrase that we would use for the permissive parent? And it would be, let's be friends. Let's be friends. That's the permissive parent. The authoritarian parent is because I said so, but the permissive parent is let's be friends. This is the one where you go over to the child's house and like the mother is just let you guys do anything. It doesn't matter. And you're like, wow, she's like your friend. And, uh, and just, there's almost no, almost no rules. Uh, matter of fact, let's go to that. <laughs> um, there are very few or no rules at all. I, I didn't have this in here, but part of the literature is if there are rules, um, they're not enforced, you know, or not enforced much. Like, for example, maybe they make a rule out of frustration because the kid's behavior is out of bounds. And so they make a rule, but then the kid throws an even bigger fit and then the parent gives in. All right, so that's permissive parent. So they may have some rules every once in a while, but then they just give in to the child eventually. And the child learns that if they throw a big enough fit or do whatever behavior, uh, some sort of dramatic behavior, then then the parent will give in. So that's a permissive. Now, an authoritarian parent would never give in <laughs> to the point where they make the child very anxious and low self-esteem. The permissive parent um, almost always gives in. They are lenient, meaning they let the child do what they want in order to avoid confrontation. They do not want to fight with the child. It's almost like they're scared of a child, they're scared of the child. If, if, and you've seen this, you probably have seen this before. Maybe you, you know a couple or something, or maybe there's a family member, I don't know. But um, where they have like a three-year-old and it's like the three-year-old runs the family. Like, I mean, the, literally the three-year-old is bossing around the adults. Um, nah, I, don't, I don't think that happens a ton, but man, I could think of some. <laughs> And you're just like, ah, you guys are run by a three-year-old. Good luck with that, permissive parents. All right, th so there's that kind of thing going on. Um, let's look at that, permissive parents. The benefit of this parenting style is that they're usually very nurturing and loving. Good. Okay, that's positive. It's better than the authoritarian parent, right? The negatives, how however, outweigh the benefit. Few rules are set for children of permissive parents. The lack of structure causes these children to grow up with little self-discipline and self-control. Some parents adopt this method as an extreme opposite approach to their authoritarian upbringing, while others are simply afraid to do anything that may upset their child. So notice this. If you have authoritarian parents when you grew up, your your, your, your potential for you to end up swinging to the opposite extreme. And we do that a lot. Um, in, in life, if we experience one thing, we don't just like back off and become more moderate in, in whatever that characteristic is. We swing all the way to the other extreme, which is just as damaging to a child. Child needs moderate moderation in discipline, moderation in accepting. They need, you know, fairness. Um, you know, from an adult standpoint, not de fairness de determined by a seven-year-old. Um, and what we often do is we swing to these extremes and, um, that's, that's really bad for a child growing up, especially dealing with emotions and becoming an emotionally mature person who can handle life. Um, notice the picture above my head, the child is bigger than the parents. That's permissive parents. All right. Um, let's go and finish this up. Okay. So permissive parent is worried about upsetting the child. They're worried about upsetting the child. This may sound awful when I say it, but I have to admit, I have never once worried about 
upsetting my children. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not purposely mean to them, but like if they got upset because I told them to clean their room or they had to do something like I just, I'm like, oh, sorry, <laughs> life sucks. Um, so yeah, I just, I, just, I always look at that one and I just kind of laugh, but that's just personal. That's me. You know, what can I say? All right. Um, they're indulgent. Um, to be indulgent means you give the child things all the time. You give them like, for example, this might be a parent who cannot afford, um, a new cell phone, but they give the child the new cell phone, like literally take out a credit card to buy a cell phone. So the kid has the nicest cell phone, but like in reality, like they can't afford that. Like, what are you doing? And so the child gets a new car, the child gets new clothes, the, the child gets, the, the child complains they get that's indulging a child. Um, there's an old saying that that I appreciate, and, and it goes like this. Try to always make a child happy, and you will create an adult who never is. Try to create a child that is always happy, and you will create an adult that never is. And, and, and this really plays right into the permissive parent sort of thing. If you're always trying to make your child happy by giving them things or giving them what they want, they get used to that. They think that's the way the world works. And then they become adults and they find out that sadly, that's not how the world works. You have to actually, you know, have a job and have people tell you to do things. And sometimes it's not great and you don't want to necessarily do it, but there's a thing called rent you have to pay and food you have to buy. And that really sucks. And, and so the children who grow up in birth with parents may be some of the most unhappy adults because their, their whole worldview from zero to 20 zero to 18, it was one thing. And then all of a sudden they find out in the real world, like it doesn't work that way. And so they're just very unhappy people. All right. Um, the child, as a result of this, and this probably doesn't shock anybody as I define this, they're very self-centered. Um, they think the world revolves around them. Why? Because in their house, the world revolves around them. That's why as an adult, they, they don't deal well with adulthood. Adulting is a very big problem for them. And then really interesting statistics and sad statistics is that permissive parents, um, their children are three times more likely to abuse alcohol. So three times more likely that the child abuses alcohol. Um, listen to this too in the blue. You can read along with me. In a study uh, published in the Scientific Journal of Early Adolescence, and that'd be, you know, teenagers, it was found that teens with permissive parents are three times more likely to engage in heavy underage alcohol consumption is likely due to their lack of consequences for their behavior. Students of permissive parents are likely to have poor academics and conflict with authority. Well, well, there's a shock. They don't do well in school and they conflict with authority because they have learned that when they conflict with the authority in their life when they're younger, their parents, and they conflict with the parents, they win. So they have that mindset. And so they're going to be in conflict with teachers or principals or, or police or whatnot. And so that is very, very problematic in terms of a child growing up. Um, so there's the first two um, parenting styles by Diana Baumrind. Okay, cool. All right, stop there.